So I've been asked what we look for when we consider a UCAS uh, application. I think one of the first things, obviously, is that we look at the qualifications uh, that are presented on that. Uh, we check that they are in line with any entry qualifications that we have for specific programmes of study. Uh, from there, the, the next part is to start to look at the, the other uh, more qualitative uh, parts of that, for example, the teacher's statement. Uh, and when reading through a teacher's statement, what we want is as much information as possible from teachers about that student, uh, about that student both academically, but also about the way that they have been involved in, in various different other things that they do at school, after school clubs and so on. Something to give us a feel about the person as a whole, rather than just simply through the, the numbers of GCSEs or, or grades achieved in there. Uh, we then move on to looking at the personal statements and clearly one of the important things in there is that you've got to get across your passion and enthusiasm for the subject and the way to do that is to persuade the admissions tutor that you've actually understood what it's about, that you um, aren't saying for example I want to study computer science, why? Because I'm good at playing computer games. Uh, that's not what we're looking for, we're looking for people who genuinely understand what it is to study those particular topics at university, who possibly have some work experience which can be related to the course of study they're looking for, but that might not be. We're looking for rounded, interesting individuals who clearly have uh, social as well as academic skills in there. There's no real uh, magic bullet uh, for uh, personal statements or teacher statements. There's no kind of trick of the trade that I could give you. It's basically just a case of being honest, being positive and being enthusiastic about that. And hopefully, if you follow those simple rules, uh, everything will work out fine. One of the other questions I'm often asked is what, uh, if you're called for an interview, what, how do you prepare for it, what do you do in an interview? Uh, we very occasionally, if people have uh, qualifications that are possibly just not as traditionally the mix that we would look for, we'd call them in uh, for an, an interview. Uh, and again, the, the trick there really is just to be yourself, is to be honest, and to be truthful. Uh, there are stories I could tell you about people who, who claim to have uh, done various things and then when you get them in and ask them questions about it, it's very clear that they haven't done that. But that's never a good idea. That puts you definitely off on the, the wrong foot. But coming in, being again confident, being enthusiastic, showing a knowledge of the subject, showing that you've read around the subject uh, and also that you're a, a rounded person, that you have other uh, interests out with just simply study uh, is clearly one way of being able to try and get into a, a fairly selective uh, department like we have here at Queen Mary.